they okay? Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, the most disappointing aspect of this debate has been people coming in and continuously saying that the need of the art is to impart basic literacy and self-reliance. In a country that is already 68 years of independence, and a country like China have already achieved close to 100% literacy and have already moved on to the next frontier of scientific development. On the contrary, I believe that the fundamental need of the art of a country that wants to be the next knowledge superpower in the world is to impart both scientific and research development to the students so that we can go forward with a new frontier of technology and development. And to prove this to how our education system precisely fails in the fundamental aspect and goes ahead and prevents people from actually taking up such opportunities. I'm going to take an example from the IIT as an individual over here. I'm going to see how we go forward in our education system and how every aspect of our education system gives the spirit of creativity, inquisitiveness, and uh, temperamental learning that is necessary for a good research opportunity in any country. First, let's see what happens in school. Suppose you have a question that you have to ask the teacher. What does the teacher generally reply to you? Your question is very good, but it's really too complicated for you to understand, right? Now you learn more about this in 10th standard. And then when you go to text standard, the teacher will say, you should have learned this in my standard, I can't do this simple for you all over again. Basically, the entire education system in the school is preventing you from actually going forward and quenching your curiosity and the national inquisitiveness you have with regards to concepts and subjects that you want to learn about. We don't expect teachers to actually go ahead and teach everything at an inferior level, but more importantly, we can guide students to go ahead and learn by themselves to motivate themselves if they are already motivated in that particular scenario. Something that the entire education system fails to part of our system, we are living in this at the main point. Next, we go to college. But before we enter college, we have to pass the entrance exams to the JE. And how do you pass JE? You go to the coaching centers. But what do these coaching centers do? These coaching centers are not focused on conceptual understanding of basic science and math that is required for a person to actually learn, but instead focuses on solving questions as quickly as possible using as many shortcuts as possible. There are ultimately do not have a choice in their own field of study and are forced to take any field of study that they are given as per the rights given the previous system. This combined aspect necessarily is the learning aspect of any student who wishes to join such creative or like an institution. Instead of focusing on their needs or their desires, we force them to think that the education system thinks is right for them. This gives them a question of choice for students. But now we move on to the next aspect. What happens after you graduate in four years or five years and after your course? You have to go ahead and get a job or go ahead for research. What we see in the placement season that is coming up right now, almost everybody here has decided to join for placement in companies. More importantly, not in technical companies, but more in the FMCG or consultancy companies, which are considered to be more attractive. Why is this so? We see that the entire education system has already killed inquisitiveness, curiosity, and the learning prospects of every student, which necessarily means that people are now less interested in actually learning college and have to go ahead and join it. Where they can actually implement their knowledge. But now the entire system has moved forward to making employees manufacture on a based of tens of thousands every year because they are supposed to be employees and therefore not leaders. And this is the problem of a country that looks towards making the next leap in social revolution by actually creating job opportunities for its own citizens. So, on all of these aspects, we already see that the Asian system is completely failing its basic inherent need of the art, which is inculcate a research level. Why is research so necessary for country like India? The research is not something that is necessarily theoretical and cannot be implemented in reality. That is a misconception. For example, the entire idea of the airlines industry was once a theoretical concept where things and objects could flow based on certain theoretical concepts. It was only later when that research was made and was implemented in practicality that it gave birth to the airlines industry that is now one of the major facets of the global industry. We tell you research is a very fundamental front end from which economic opportunities come forward because people that can use this research go ahead and create economic opportunities for others which creates employees to who are getting salaries and therefore creating a virtuous economic cycle that necessarily leads to better development of the nation and for all of these reasons that very important to the social.
Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah